Hi, weirdos. You are watching This Week. Wait. No. <laughs> you know what you did. I know what I did. Just move on. We're going to move on. <laughs> okay. Hi, weirdos. My name is Ashley. My name is Lauren. And you are watching This, this Week, Week in Weird. Weird. This Week in Weird is the news segment for the podcast, Keep It Weird, which you can watch on iTunes, Spotify, Libsyn, TuneIn, Google Play, Podbean, iHeartRadio, wherever you get your podcasts. All of it. Um, and we're bringing you the craziest, strangest, spookiest, weirdest news in the whole wide world. Whole wide world. This story is going to be upsetting to quite a few people looking at you and you. That's only me. <laughs> I get upset easily. So a teenage girl in Zhejiang, eastern China. Zhejiang. Zhejiang. It's fun to say. Uh, complained to her parents of extreme stomach pains late last month. She was showing signs of severe bloating, hadn't experienced a bowel movement in five days, sounds like me, and was struggling <laughs> to eat any food. Like, she was so full she couldn't eat another bite of food. So her parents took her to the emergency room where the doctor immediately ordered a CT scan, because that's not normal, uh, of her abdomen, where they found more than 100 tiny granular shadows dotted throughout the teenager's digestive tract from her stomach. I know what it's going to uh, be. Through her intestines <laughs> and it. down to her anus. That's her butthole for anyone who <laughs> hasn't that's taken health hole. class in a while. <laughs> um, the doctor noticed that she had like a... Hold for plane. Hold for plane, please. Let us know when we're clear. All clear. All clear. It's like I live on an Air Force base. She <laughs> lives at the I airport, live but she at doesn't. Near a very small airport. Right. But it's fine. It's okay. So the doc doctor knows she had a bulging stomach. She was a pretty petite girl, so it was, like, very obvious that her stomach was, like, protruding. Ooh. And he asked her if she'd been eating anything strange lately, like marbles or... <laughs> You've been eating marbles again, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> she said that she hadn't, but one of the last things she ingested was five days ago when she drank a boba tea. Oh, I knew it was coming. I'm so upset. The significant mass of pearls stuck inside of her was the result of prolonged consumption of boba tea. How much boba was she drinking? She wasn't, I mean... It has to be, like, kind of a big amount, right? I feel like she was drinking... She she claimed that it was, like, three a week. Okay. Which I, I mean, feel that's, like... That's I mean, a that's decent a lot of amount. Boba. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I have boba, like, once a month. But I know yeah. people have it more often, so... Uh, she actually had to be prescribed a strong laxative, and she was able to pass all oh, of it, good. but so it no was, surgery. no, no surgery, but it was, mm. um, harrowing, so I'm really sorry, boba tea lovers. If you all love that boba, <laughs> be careful. Be careful. Um, I know this is not your favorite, but boba tea, for anyone who doesn't know, because, like, when Natalie visited mm -hmm. last month, or earlier this month, she was like, what the hell is that? So did my sister. So it was like, okay. My sister, Julia, and also avid listener along with Natalie, she did the same thing. She was yeah. like, what's boba? What are those little balls? And yeah. I was like, I think they're tapioca. They right? are tapioca. They're tapioca balls. But it's very, so it's from Eastern Asia, and it became very popular in, like, big cities, I guess, especially, like, Southern California. Oh, my gosh. Like, we love our Everywhere. <laughs> We've got our matcha and our boba and our um, it's all over the place. But yeah, so it's uh, it's flavored milk tea with boba, which are essentially tapioca balls. Yeah. And it looks fun, and the balls are like chewy, like Swedish like the fish. Texture. Yeah. Fun. Um, and it's advertised as being a tea. So to people, that sounds like it's a healthy thing. But actually, it turns out I did some, did some like research on it's boba. Not at all. Oh, horrible. Please do not drink boba. Like, do oh, not. No. Every once in a while, I think it's okay, but like. If it's like a dessert treat. Yeah, so boba's not good for you. The tapioca balls contain food additives, thickeners, preservatives. They can be toxic for some people and oh, extremely gosh. difficult to digest. Well, as we, as have we just know. <laughs> They're also 
loaded with sweeteners and artificial flavors. That's what I figured. Yeah, they're oh. made from starch extracted from a, a root, a cassava root, and they're loaded with carbs and not like the cool fibery carbs, like exactly. just empty carbs. Uh, the average boba tea is 300 to 500 calories. For a which little is drink. Two to three times the amount of a can of Coca Cola. This is so depressing. It's so bad. There was also a study in Germany saying that boba contained certain cancer causing chemicals, but our FDA like shut that down, said there okay. wasn't enough in them to cause harm. Whew. And who do you trust if you don't trust the FDA? <laughs> we were just Oh wait. We were just talking the some smack on them in our food episode, yeah, which you should which go listen to on our podcast. I believe it comes out um in a couple of days. Yep. 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 So, oh, ooh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, this is really oh, no. bad. Okay, what? You don't happen to have a story about a Thai restaurant, do you? No. Okay, so really quick, just while we're on the subject of food. No, uh, I love Thai food. No, Ashley. Actually, you don't have to worry about the entirety of Thai okay. food, but you do have to worry about the Siam Corner Thai Kitchen and Pho Restaurant in Windsor, Connecticut. Okay. Because. <laughs> I was going to go there. I know, me too. I always wanted to. <laughs> on May 29th. It had to be shut down when a foul odor and reddish brown liquid was dripping from the ceiling of the restaurant behind the like front counter area. Ooh. Um, and when the police were called, they entered because they couldn't get into the apartment above. Mm -hmm. uh, but the police got in through an open window. They went in to investigate and they found the tenant's body in his bed and it was leaking through the ceiling into the parking no because he turned him up oh my god because he's been there for so long body juice was <laughs> leaking into the restaurant <gasps> that's horrendous yeah oh my gosh that's so bad is yeah. the restaurant shut down now for now yeah i mean i, th I, I think feel they like with that you have to be closed forever I, yeah i feel you like you can't burn it down yeah. you gotta burn down the building light the place on fire and start <laughs> over fire. like that's not getting better ew yeah <gasps> so, that's upsetting Avoid. That's, avoid, please. Avoid. I hate that. Avoid. I hate it so much. That is all the time we have this week for our new segment, This Week in Weird. Please subscribe and give more of our videos a watch. And also subscribe to our podcast for your ear holes. Keep It Weird podcast. And follow us on all social media at Keep It Weird Cast. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And you can find the podcast on Libsyn on Spotify, on iTunes, on Podbean, and all the other things. Mm -hmm. And as always, keep it weird.